All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is uh, Tyrone Bigum's Intervention. All right, now this will be coming from The Chappelle Show. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Well, let's go and just jump into this immediately. Okay, so remember now, we're not here to judge anybody. We want to handle this with love, right? You want to tell him how his drug abuse has hurt you, maybe hurt himself. Okay, uh, Harold, what time did you tell him to be here? Five o'clock, but he's always late. No, he'll be here. In three, two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Oh. <laughs> well, that's how you get him, I guess, right? Y'all tell anybody I'll kill you! I'll kill you! This week, Tyrone. Okay, so this will be the second time we're encountering uh, Tyrone Bigum. So the first time was, uh, I think, in the classroom, and now he's getting intervention. Most likely a well needed intervention because, guys, his. No, third time. Um, fear factor, right? So yeah, uh, yeah, he needs to need some help, bros. Rowan gets invited to an intervention. Oh, you locked the door. Good idea. <laughs> okay, Tyrone. Do you know why you're here? Mm -hmm. I'm here for the same reason you is, man. I want some crack. <laughs> crack. Hey, Tyrone, we are not giving crack away today. Uh huh. What? No, no. What time is it? It's five o'clock. Did I miss a five o'clock free crack giveaway? No, Tyrone, Tyrone, these are your friends here. They have something they'd like to say to you. I'm yeah. a trick. Okay, okay, Tyrone. I'm what is known as an guys, guys, he, he needs some like chapstick or some, I mean, dare I say it, lip gloss or something like that. He lip gloss will probably work a little bit better on his lips though. Absolutely. Uh, just purely based on how ashy they are, bro. So, oh. Yeah. And these people would like to talk to you about your drug use. What are you talking about, man? I don't do drugs. Right. What y'all tell them, huh? Come on, we better think out. What y'all tell them? Benedict Arnold. Okay, Rhonda, Rhonda, would you like to go first? Bye. What is going on in here? We get crack at the end? <laughs> Tyrone, you know I love you. Right. But I feel like drugs is hurting you. And they're oh, yeah. hurting me. Tyrone, I was very hurt that you carjacked me that time. What? What you told my right? I would never carjack that ugly ass car. <laughs> get that car. Tyrone, what are you doing? Who's Tyrone? Yes. I, don't, I don't know Tyrone. No, it's you, your crusty. Bro, you're wearing the whole Tyrone Biggums uniform, bro. And his lips. Yeah, Get the house. Get out the car. I don't know what is high room. Look, the police found. <laughs> you sound like him, and you're also calling her by her name. Two, three hours later, in my car, asleep. How on crack? That's impossible, Rhonda. How can you sleep if how on crack? Chinese <laughs> real for you. Okay, let's have uh, Jimmy and Rob. Okay? I ain't do that, Rhonda. Tyrone. We opened our home to you. You let your addiction lead you to abuse our trust. Oh, Janet, Rob, Ra look, y'all. It's me you talking to. I, I would never hurt you. Oh, don't play dumb with us, Tyrone. That's what happened. I remember the whole speech. Please. I just need $200. I take these real estate classes, and I'm back on my feet, baby. I'm serious, Rob. It's me, baby. It's Tyrone. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Um, try not to give people in that state money. Um, you're just fueling the situation. If they need something, you can go and get that specific thing, right? Um, I just hope that hopefully they won't trade it for that. You get what I'm saying here? But, um, all right. I'm cleaning up my act. Okay. Oh, Tyrone. Rob, Jenny, y'all ain't gonna be sorry about this. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, oh I studied he, he my attempted. ass off for that real estate test. Right. Ah! We're off to my mother's. We'll be back Sunday evening. The number's <laughs> on the fridge if you... You let him move into your house, bro? Need anything. Okay, bye, Jim. Your whole house is going to be empty, probably, guys. Bye, Rob. I passed my test and was a certified real estate agent. Good for you, Tyrone. Right. Yeah, damn right good for him. He sold our house <laughs> he sold the money. Four hundred. <laughs> so, so not just everything in the house. He sold the entire house. Hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Where's the money, Tyrone? He spent it on a party. 
took out an ad for it in the paper. <laughs> you didn't get your invitation for that party? Oh, Robert, you should have seen it. We had power cracked this high. I had heart attack. Heart attack. Oh. I'll give you a heart attack. Oh, run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll get a restraining order against you, Rob. Harold. <laughs> guys, um, I don't think that uh, Tyrone is a, is a good person, guys. Next. All right. I wouldn't befriend him. Tyrone. I wouldn't trust him in my house. He sold. He sold your house. I mean, first, firstly, there's a whole lot of like things behind the scenes that don't make sense about that actually happening. But um, he sold his. He sold. He sold their house. I'm here because I love you. Right. Well, if you love me so much, Harold, why did you get me fired from the post office? Huh? Do you know how many people on your route complain of receiving open mail? <laughs> Seven. Seven. Hundred and thirty-six, Tyrone. Is that every and single then one? Then there of them? was the incident with the powder. <laughs> Oh. That would have been the Thrax, most likely, right? Is that the joke? In the early 2000s? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do all of that. Attention, everybody. Be on the lookout for any envelopes marked Senator Tom Dasho or Tom Brokaw. It might contain anthrax. Mm. For your information, that's a little white powder. Huh? Is anthrax, babe? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, Tyrone. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be big trouble. I got that anthrax and it's a bomb, baby. <laughs> 60 bucks. If that man hadn't turned you in, it would have been a disaster. Yep. Oh, man. I don't act like crack is so bad. Well, like the good book <laughs> says, let he who is without sin right. throw it the first rock. Oh, the first rock. Shout smoke of it. I bet. I bet you will. I bet you will. Basically, Tyrone, we would like you to check into rehabilitation immediately. Right. Uh, yeah. Immediately. Just right. stand up and go, okay. bro. Okay. Fine. It's needed. Fine. You know what? I need to get better. You're all right. But first step is first, I need to go to the bathroom. And then I'm on my way to recovery, Rhonda. Yes. I got the key. And that wasn't me, Rhonda. Go to the bathroom. Okay, I've got it from here. Thank you. I'll be right out. Is there any windows there? He's gone, guys. Oh! Oh, I didn't say there ain't no windows in here. Oh. Expected. I can't fit in the toilet, bro. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Completely illogical, but completely illogical, but but absolutely iconic. It seems, yes. Um, all right, guys, listen. I, I don't know if is this the, like the last episode that we encounter uh, Tyrone Biggums. Um, let me know in the comments. Definitely, let me know. Um, listen, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, also, uh, what, what we should be listening to uh, or watching, right? And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. So listen, guys. You guys all have an amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly. All right. <laughs>